Right, this video is going to show you how to start off drawing orthographic drawings. The first of all, <coughs> you need to understand orthographic drawing, which by now you should do. We're going to draw this simple block from the side, first of all, and then from the end, and then from above. So we'll have a side elevation, end elevation, and a plan, or bird's eye view. Right, first of all, we need a drawing board, which is this, a piece of uh, paper, which is fitted onto the drawing board. Now, this type of the rotary drawing boards, you push that little thing down there, put the paper under there, level with the black line at the bottom, let it go, and go to this corner, and lift that little metal thing up, and the paper is between there, that line there, and this one, and it's held in place. This is the T-square and that clips in there like that push the little red thing down and you can slide it up and down and it will be parallel literacy link there parallel uh, all the way up if you want to draw vertical lines use a set square and for this orthographic drawing you usually only need vertical lines or lines at 45 degrees which this square, set square will do perfectly you'll also need a ruler because in this case you've got to measure the block right most important sharp pencil sharpen it and make sure it stays sharp and you need to get used to the idea of pressing lightly or whatever right first of all we're going to draw a line towards the bottom of the uh, page uh, faintly that's the base of our object like that we need to measure the object and it is 32 millimeters high so I'll make a mark from that line 32 millimeters up and draw another line at that point. So I can put my pencil in that point and slide the T-square up to it, let go of the red thing. Another faint line, very faint line. Notice that I've drawn two lines on here and it's not covered with dirty fingerprints, which is exactly what it shouldn't be. Right, take your set square. Okay. I will show you in a minute how to make the lines more visible. So another faint line vertically and we need to mark the length of the object. Now as with most drawing methods it is very important that you um, use faint lines first of all although they may not show very well on the video that's 196 millimeters so I'll go along 196 make another mark and draw a line up like that put the pencil in on the mark and draw a line up right so we've got to mark the cutouts on here uh, that's 32 millimeters long and 15 millimeters up so I go along 32. This is exactly what we've done before on the computer, on 2D Design, and uh, 15 millimeters up. Now this piece, you'll see why I'm drawing the lines across later, this piece I can draw in with a hard line now, a firm, a uh, dark line, because um, that is a line that I actually want to show. And as is that one now. Right, so that's the lines that want, I want to show on the the object, on the drawing. Right, measuring always from the same end. That that centre slot is 92 and 110 millimetres. So the first one is 92 and the second one is 110. And I draw a vertical line, nice and faint, put the pencil on the dot and draw up and again there. Notice there are still no dirty fingerprints. Right, the depth of that uh, central cutout is 12 millimeters. So I come down from the top edge there, 12 millimeters there and I'm going to draw a line across from there 
and of course that bit is what I actually now want to show as is this bit and those two so I'm building up my drawing as I go and you can see how it's developing this is not particularly difficult and in some respects it's less fiddly than the doing it on the computer right that line there the top there is from the end is 178 so I measure 178 millimeters numeracy all the way here we need to um, practice our numeracy skills so we're used to measuring in millimeters uh, and small numbers of millimeters too not uh, in just in tens and fives uh, and here measuring up from that bottom line I think that's 10 millimeters there so from the bottom of the object I'm measuring up 10 millimeters now on some occasions there are lines which are not actually at the angle that you've got your set square so you have to use those do those with a ruler or with your set square off the t-square I need that line projected across once again this is this type of drawing is called orthographic projection and the projection is because we bring the lines across and up from our drawing right so I'm just going to finish off putting the lines on here and along there notice there are still no dirty fingerprints on this and then this one here 